Hello my friends, welcome to the Commander's Crypt. The other day I did a video on Chishiro the Shattered Blade, basically doing a pre-con review and some changes that you could make on with the deck to make it stronger and that was on the uh, budget tip. But today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about more advanced combos with Chishiro. So again, uh, welcome to the Commander's Crypt. If you're watching us today, please give us a like and a subscription. We're a brand new channel and uh, here at the Commander's Crypt, we just love Commander and playing Magic. Uh, I've been playing Magic since 1994 and I absolutely love Commander. Like I said, we're a new channel and um, I hope that you'll subscribe with us after seeing us today because we've got a lot of exciting uh, things in the works here. We're going to have contests and raffles for decks and cards and even trips down to New Orleans to go to the go see the ghost tours and the vampire tours and the alligator tours. So uh, we hope to get your subscription today. Like I said, we're a new uh, channel, but we've got a lot of exciting things in the future, and uh, we would like to uh, have you uh, grow with us and uh, start our own little magic community. But anyway, back to the video. Chishiro the Shattered Blade, today we're doing the advanced combos. Chishiro is a uh, gruel commander for one green, one red, and two colorless. Whenever an aura or equipment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 spirit creature token with menace. At the beginning of your end step, put a plus one plus one counter on each modified creature you control. Equipments, auras, and counters are modifications. If you uh, watch the counterpart to this video that I did with the uh, budget upgrade, you know that this deck needs a lot of help. So we are adding more cards in it today. If you have more of uh, a budget, a larger budget to put in this deck to do more advanced combos. So what we're gonna do today is um, go through all the combos that you can do with this deck with uh, Helm of the Host and Godo the Bandit Lord, you can give yourself infinite combat steps. Helm of the Host says at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of a equipped creature, except the token is legendary. If the equipped creature is legendary, that token gains haste. So basically what you do is uh, Godo's out, you play this, you equip it to Godo, and what Godo does is he gives Samurai's extra combat steps and with Helm of the Host every time you go to your combat step you'll create another Godo and it, to, until infinity and Chishiro just happens to be a, a snake samurai so you can uh, bash just keep bashing with Chishiro and uh, take out all of your opponents the next combo that we're going to talk about is the Hellkite Charger. Hellkite Charger is a 5-5 dragon with flying and haste. Whenever Hellcat, Hellkite Charger attacks, you may pay 2 red 5 colorless. If you do, untap all attacking creatures and after this phase, there's an additional combat phase. The good old Hell, uh, Hellkite Charger, that is a uh, oldie but a goodie basically with Hellkite Charger and Sword and Feast and Famine, you're able to do infinite combat turns. Sword of Feast and Famine says equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from black and from green. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card and you may untap all lands you control equipped to. So, as soon as you equip this to Hellkite Charger, uh, and he has haste, he has protection from black and from green. As soon as he attacks, all your lands untap, and then you're able to pay into Hellkite Charger's ability. And he's now a 7-7, pro-black, pro-green. 
and you get infinite combat steps with him and other creatures to uh, keep attacking until everybody else is wiped out. Besides the sword and feast and famine combo, we have bear umbra. It, it works the same way. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and has whenever this creature attacks, untap all lands you control. So, same thing. You put this on Hellkite Charger, attack, your lands untap, and you're able to do infinite combat steps. Next is the Sword of Hearth and Home. With this equipment, you can equip another card that I'm going to show you here in a second and get infinite combat steps. Sword of Hearth and Home says, Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from green and from white. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, exile up to one target creature you own, then search your library for a basic land card. Put both cards onto the battlefield under your control, then shuffle. So basically what happens with this is you put uh, Sword of Hearth and Home on the Aki Battle Squad and Aki Battle Squad says whenever one or more modified creatures you control attack, untap all modified creatures you control. After this combat phase, there's an additional combat phase. This ability triggers only once each turn. So uh, I'm pretty high on this card. It's a 6-6 six, six for 6 already, so that's pretty good. And um, you're going to equip Sword of Hearth and Home to another creature. You're not going to equip it to the battle uh, squad. And when it hits, it will blink out your Aki Battle Squad and then rinse and repeat. Aki Battle Squad also works with Fable of Mirror Breaker. Fable of Mirror Breaker is a saga that eventually becomes Kiki Jiki. As the saga enters and after your draw step, add a lower counter. First lore counter is create a 2-2 red goblin shaman creature token with whenever, whenever this creature attacks, create a treasure token. Oh, okay, so that's pretty good. Two, you may discard up to two cards. If you do, draw that many cards. Then the third saga says exile this saga, then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. Well, it's going to transform into reflections of Kiki Jiki and one colorless tap him create a token that's a copy of another target non-legendary creature you control except it has haste sacrifice it at the beginning of the next step if kiki jiki and aki battle squad are modified you will be able to do infinite combat steps and that's uh, that's pretty much it as far as advanced combat what you're also probably going to need in order to do this is tutors. Green and especially red are not known for having a bunch of tutors. So we're going to put worldly tutor in. It's an instant for one green. Search your library for a creature card and reveal that card to all players. Shuffle your library and put the revealed card back on top of it. So you're going to be either looking for the Aki Battle Squad or for the Hellcock Charger to do your combo. The next tutor we're going to use is Gamble. Now, G Gamble, it lives up to its uh, title. It is a Gamble, uh, but as far as Red is concerned, we're kind of limited on our choices, so it's it's worth a shot. But I know we're, we all of us have been there where we've gambled for a card and then uh, tossed it, and the, the whole thing was a big waste of time. But Gamble says, search your library for a card, put that card into your hand, discard a card at random, then shuffle your library. I, I like the flavor text too. What's the worst that can happen? So uh, yeah, we've all been there, but Red, Red is uh, very low on tutors, so we've got this in the deck to uh, help with that. So that's how we get our pieces uh, for the combos that we're going to run. Uh, I've also replaced a card and put a Var Hellkite in there. If you watched my other video, you know that I put Giant Adiphage and other token generating creatures in this deck because Voltron 
decks usually have lots of auras equipments uh, because it's voltron -y, but then you go tall but then you don't have any blockers but with the token strategy you're able to go tall and long so Utvar Hellkite is a fantastic card two red six colorless flying whenever a dragon you control attacks put a six six red dragon creature token with flying onto the battlefield it's basically the red version of uh, the green card giant Adiphage, which has two two green five colorless to put into play and it puts seven seven tramplers giant insects into play so that's what we're going to add to do our advanced combos another advanced play to do in this deck is hardened scales if you watched my last video you know that i talked about uh having dub doubling your counters that parallel lives could double your tokens and doubling season can double your tokens and your counters uh but not, those those cards are starting to get up there in price this card is uh, very very cheap if one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a creature you control that many plus one counters are put on it instead so this is a very very good card i uh, basically replaced one with the kami with it it's cheaper and um it's going to work in your deck much better than the uh, that other card. So there you have it. Another an, another good card to put in here would be Vorinclex. He is uh, for two green, four colorless. He's a six six with haste and trample, and he also doubles your counters when you get them. But then he also stops your opponents from getting counters. So. Um, the other complex combos that this deck can do is with the Sword of Hearth and Home. You're able to blink Acidic Slime out and kill problematic enchantments or anything else that is giving you problems. But then also you can blink Whip Tongue Hydra and no one will ever be able to put flying creatures out so that's it i hope you uh enjoyed uh, oh, oh oh i forgot one more thing uh the uh another couple of cards that i replaced uh put in here to make the deck stronger is i took oolash the hate seed out and replaced it with the colonian hydra this is a very very good card and will work very well in your deck for two green three colorless he's trample and he enters the battlefield with four plus one plus one counters on it so if you got ways to double that already he's an eight eight trampler for five uh, i mean uh four four trampler for five is pretty good but then it says whenever colonian hydra attacks double the number of plus one plus one counters on each creature you control so as you can see he's way better than oolash the hate seed it's it's not a, a hit trigger it's a whenever he attacks trigger he doubles all the counters on your creatures and you're going to have a lot of them this card is is very cheap so i would highly recommend it in this deck and I uh, replaced Sword of Vengeance with Fleetwood Sandals just because Fleetwood Sandals is two to cast and two to equip. Yeah, Sword of Vengeance, it gives you haste and first strike, vigilance, trample, but I kind of felt that Sh Chishiro needed more evasion. Uh, this, this one is cheaper and it gives him haste still, but also it gives him flying. So there you have it. I just wanted to do a quick uh, part two a deal of Chishiro. Like I said in my original video, he needs a lot of help. So we're going to give him the help that he needs. We're going to give him infinite combat steps and ways to tutor for that. So I hope you enjoyed my short video. And again, if you would, please... Uh, like us and subscribe to us we have a lot of exciting things coming up in the future and we will be posting 
videos once every one to two days. So thank you very much. Have a good day, and we will uh, see you again soon. Signing off from the Commander's Crypt in New Orleans.